We have microphones for the TV cameras. So what we see here, we got real voices. So we can just kind of be listening for a minute or two. We're going to get the festivity started. We're a very, very passionate and all the we have we have special guests. We have uh, those kind capitals of the events and been here for 25 years. And we have some people here with us today that uh, we're here with the very So everyone's going to take five. But before we do that, we can have your attention to this wonderful group. This is the class of 2033. <laughs> The DPW, John Haynes, wherever he is, he said they're going to time capsules all day. But well, we appreciate that. That's right. So, I'd like to introduce my co chair and a member of the Board of Selectmen for many years, including the year that they buried this time capsule. <laughs> and uh, the co chair of the Bicentennial Committee, and he's going to kind of host things as we go along. So, Dave Sheedy, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Dale. If you can't hear me, that's too bad because I don't talk loud. What I'm going to do is, I know everyone wants to see what's in there, and as we all do, but there's a few special guests here today would like to just hear a few words, a few words from them, um, just about the history of East Bridgewater, what they remember, and so on and so forth. And the first one will be State Senator Michael Brady. Thank you. I was told we have two ears and one mouth, so we're supposed to listen more than talk. So I'm just honored to be here, and I'm going to pass it on to my colleagues, because I know you all want to see the time capsule. You don't want to hear from us. So God bless you all. I'm just honored to represent the town of East Bridgewater. Who says state senators don't listen? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our next special guest, District Attorney Tim Cruz. I, I just uh, we, we repeat what Mike said. Um, congratulations, East Bridgewater. Happy Bicentennial. Have a great day, and let's get to that. Thank you. This is really working. <laughs> <laughs> next, our State Senator, Allison. State Senator. Oh, you agree? Oh, I'm 
sorry, state representative. <laughs> <I'm upgraded. laughs> Allison, it's Mike Sullivan's daughter. Uh, Alex Sullivan, Almeida. Usually I listen to Dave, but I'm, I'm tempted to almost continue to speak. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I just want to say, you guys did a fantastic job. Give it up for these guys. How old are you guys? Eight? Is eight years old? Is everyone around eight years old? So I was two years older than you when that thing was buried. So just think, and, and then 50 years, right, is the next one? How old? I thought 50 years. I know, but the next one. So in 50 years, you'll be 58 years old, you'll have to come back and you'll have to see what was buried here uh, 50 years prior. So I just want to say thank you to everyone coming out and I will listen to Dave at this point and, and step aside. Peter Spagone Sr. Please join us. It's been 25 years, I guess, right? Uh, I just want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. It was very nice to be here. Uh, and the kids were really good. The singing was fantastic. And uh, let's open up. Next, very quickly, the chair of the select board, Carol Julius. I don't know. Everybody else yielded their time. Can't I just take it? <laughs> um, so I was here 25 years ago. At that time, I was your library director. And I know we put things in there. I can't remember what. So I am just as excited as all of you to see us open it. We've been planning this day for so long. And it's finally here. And I'm so proud of these kids for their singing and for all of you for, to coming out and to the Bicentennial Committee for putting together this great event. So let's check out that time capsule. Thank you very much. Peter Spagone, Jr. That's you, yes. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. All right. uh, not much to say other than we're going to open up, but mostly important is these guys have done a great job. You know, we've got a lot of events going on during the year. Had a super event down at the Commercial Club uh, this past Saturday. Look forward to everything else you guys got to present to the town of East Bridgewater. Thank you on behalf of myself and Kyle. We guys have both done a great job. Thank you very much. I see Karen Grabo's in the audience. She was our administrative assistant way back then. Karen, you want to stroll up? Thank you all for being here. Um, I just want to see what's in that time capsule because I have no idea what we put in there. So <laughs> let's get it open. All right, folks. That's it for the introduction. John Haynes, could you join us up here, please? John Haynes, our DPW director, has done a great job locating this and <laughs> nothing exploded when he opened it up. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't know what was in it. I know. We wanted to be backed off in case the ghosts came out of it. Your name's the first one on this. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it wasn't good to huh? <laughs> read that to the people. Wow. Oh. Okay, this is a, a, a presentation of the town flag of East Bridgewater to Peter Spagone, chairman of the 175th anniversary uh, committee, uh, Carl, Pete Eastman, town moderator, and Anthony Costello, chairman of the board of selectmen. What is it? It's wet. <laughs> All right, what you have to remember is the Times, we buried a time capsule today up at the Council on Aging, and we right. saw everything that went in. Uh, this one didn't quite make it, it got a little bit damp, but because of the time when McDonald's was a big deal, you guys all know McDonald's, but back in the day, so somebody decided they were going to bury a Happy Meal. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, <laughs> that's all I can read in the front. <laughs> the toy. Uh, we'll, we'll, that one's a little bit wet. We'll take the toy out and put it on display inside. <laughs> that one didn't make the... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Now, 
unfortunately, <laughs> whatever was in there is long gone. And the rest of it is a whole bunch of pitches that, that have seen better days. Uh, we'll try to separate them and get them on EB Cam, but right now we can't read any of them. We, we can't read any of the... We have something from the Cub Scouts. Looks like the high school, maybe? <laughs> oh, we have a picture of the 175th uh, cake here. Cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It looks like Bragan, Robbins, yeah. and Brown Jr. Paul Brown Jr. Any names familiar? A whole bunch of different cakes. Jonathan Ribbon, that's Robbins. How, Peter's in this that's picture. That's how we put in that. James Bragan. Oh, John, your mom's in this picture. Yep. Okay. Bob Packer's in this picture too. Yeah, we have a few people, but we have a, pi we have a picture of the. Uh, Your dad's in this photo. Bob's in a, the photo. All right, that's that's about it. Right. Ah, okay. Any anything else you want to add? Because we have nothing else. That's, that was it. That's the end of that's the. That's the end of it. All right. We didn't think. I guess nope. that, I that wasn't tightly sealed. I can do a quick. Uh, There's a lot of pictures of a cake. Yes. That's <laughs> great. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we have better technology today. The uh, capital of the COA, I guarantee it. That has uh, desserts from the high school that has uh, the Is Charlie out here? It's sealed. I remember we had the idea. We have the great pictures from um, 25 years ago. And, and that's always a happy thing. So we'll, we'll go through this stuff so that we can display it. Uh, like I said, we, we look at these bags here. I'm interested to see, but I'm not going to keep it in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> For your information, if you don't know, we scheduled time for the Right now, because we have these wonderful voices. How about 